support. Um, you all know the background about this. This is years in the making. It reflects hundreds of comments from both the research agencies, which ironically had even more comments than what you, the institutions had or our proposer and awarding community had. If you would have seen what some of the comments were from some of the agencies, this would have been much more onerous of a requirement. But we opted to look and factor both administrative burden with what we were trying to achieve in these forms. Both of these forms include the requisite certification um, from NDAA 2021, Section 223, which says it's accurate, current, and complete, and now the Malign Foreign Talent Recruitment Program certification. The PAP guide contains NSF implementation. I'm very pleased to say we were the first out of the block on this, and um, actually based on the feedback that we received, meaning we haven't been inundated with lots of questions, you all pretty much get what we're trying to achieve here. It's on the NSF website. We serve as steward, meaning we officially own these forms for the federal government. And what this slide shows you is the page that the fabulous Samantha Hunter has developed. And it circles, in the circle, is where you will always be able to find the latest version of not not only the bias sketch, but current and pending other support, as well as the definitions that NSF and our colleague agencies have developed. During the process of developing these, you gave lots of questions about terminology. Well, we wanted to ensure that you had the same answer for all agencies. So this takes you to the latest set of definitions that apply to all agencies that implement these common forms. 